Today I'm going to reveal to you the formula for a perfect weight loss meal. And then I'm going to show you three quick and easy recipes that you can make at home that are perfect for weight loss. So in spite of every diet that you may have tried, weight loss is bottom line about consuming less calories than you are burning. However, tracking calories can be very tedious. So I have a really amazing method for you only using your hand and estimation. This method will still help you stay in check with what you're consuming, but it's a lot easier to be consistent with and you can take your hand anywhere. So it makes it really easy if you're out and about or at a restaurant. So the example we're gonna use is for a five foot, five inch, lightly active 30 year old woman who is 160 pounds currently and would like to lose 15 pounds in four months. So for this example, this woman eats three meals a day. So for each meal, she's gonna need one to two palms of protein, one to two fists of vegetables, one to two cupped hands of carbohydrates, and one to two thumbs of fat. Now we'll go more into what those types of foods may look like. And I'll give you a little bit better of an example of how to estimate that. To tailor the meal formula for you, see the link in the comments to use the really quick and easy calculator. Or if you want to calculate your perfect formula needs by hand, which I don't really suggest, but if you're one of those people that likes to do the calculations, look down in the comments. I will show you a step-by-step -step process for making those calculations and then converting it into our handy dandy hand estimation method. All right, so for protein, you're gonna to wanna to try to get as much of your protein from lean sources as possible. Now, here's a chart showing recommendations for where to get your lean protein. You can get your lean protein from chicken, lean cuts of other types of meat, like lean ground beef. I love using ground turkey. That's a nice lean alternative to red meat. Um, don't forget that you can get plant-based protein sources such as beans, quinoa, tofu, tempeh. Also fish is a really excellent source of lean protein as well. Here is the lean protein in our first meal, the, the Greek salad with chicken. Here is the lean meat in our second meal, the taco salad. In our third meal, the tofu in this delicious Asian stir fry. The reasons you'll wanna make sure you are getting a good amount of lean proteins for weight loss, it helps you feel fuller longer because it increases hormones that help control your appetite. Consuming a lot of protein will also help you retain that lean muscle mass as you are losing weight. You don't wanna lose any of that muscle while you're losing weight, you wanna lose fat. Increasing your protein also helps you burn more calories because it has a thermic effect when your body tries to break it down for energy. I've also found that increasing my protein intake helps me reduce cravings. So for vegetables, with the exception of potatoes and other starchy types of vegetables and avocado, you can pretty much eat as much vegetables as you want in their whole form. Here's a list of some vegetables. You'll want to try to consume as many different colors of vegetables as you can because this increases the phytonutrients that you're taking in that protects your body from different types of diseases and just keeps it in tip top shape. So for our stir fry, here are the two fists of vegetables. For our Greek salad, as you can see, this is about two fists of vegetables. And for our taco salad, I went ahead and loaded up on the greens so I can feel more full and as you can see, this looks like two fists. There are so many benefits to eating vegetables for weight loss. Because it has volume and so little calories, it makes you feel fuller. The fiber in vegetables takes a while for your body to break down, so you'll feel fuller longer. So in spite of what you've probably been told, carbs are not your enemy. However, they're not all created equal. You're gonna wanna try to stay away from the simple sugars and refined carbohydrates. So that's your white breads, your not whole grain pastas, your candy, obviously, that one's a pretty obvious one. And on the flip side, you'll wanna have complex carbohydrates. And what makes them complex is their fiber content. The more 
in their whole form, the better. So if something's milled or broken down, it's not as ideal. This is where your potatoes, like your starchy vegetables come in. And the reason complex carbohydrates are better than simple sugars and refined carbohydrates, carbohydrates break down into sugar. And because of that fiber content, it'll break down slower in your body and won't cause an immediate blood sugar spike or or rush of insulin, which in the long term can cause insulin resistance. But nobody is perfect. So, you know, if you've been doing all good all week and you really want to have a cookie, go ahead and have a cookie. It's not going to kill you. And here is the carbohydrates in our Greek salad. Here is the carbohydrates in our taco salad. I have one to two cupped hands. Here are the carbohydrates in our Asian stir fry. And you can see I have one to two of my cupped hand brown rice, which is a complex carbohydrate because it still has fibrous outer layer on the rice. So while carbohydrates aren't necessarily a bad thing for weight loss, some people tolerate carbs better than others. And this is where you kind of have to, to test different fat to carb ratios out and see what works for you. And really the best way to see if you don't tolerate carbs well is just to be self-aware and notice how you feel after you have different types of carbohydrates. You'll probably notice that those complex carbohydrates aren't gonna cause the same crash as having refined carbohydrates. And in some instances, simple carbohydrates are a good thing. That's sort of out of the scope of this video. An important thing you can gain from eating carbohydrates is fiber. Complex carbohydrates contain lots of fiber and fiber is really important for you to feel satiated. It's important for your gut health, which affects so many things, even your brain. Well, complex carbohydrates can help control your insulin response, your energy levels, and your body composition. So yes, eating carbs can help you look sexy. When it comes to fat, just like carbs, not all types of fat are created equally. It's been shown that monounsaturated fats have so many great benefits. We'll get into that in a second. So some different types of healthy fats are avocados, olive oil, nuts and seeds, and here's the list of some more. Here are a couple thumbs of fat in my Asian stir fry, a couple thumbs of fat in my taco salad, and a couple thumbs of fat in my Greek salad recipe. Now, while you may play with your carb and fat macro percentages, you don't want to go too low on the fat because healthy fat actually helps promote better brain function and a lot of really important processes in your body. So you wanna keep that at between 15 to 20% at your low end. Healthy fat promotes cardiovascular and brain health, as well as supporting many other essential functions in your body. When it comes to weight loss, having enough fat will help improve your body composition as well as help you feel full between meals. Now let's get started on those three easy, delicious meals that are excellent for weight loss. So for our tasty taco salad, you're gonna wanna grease your pan lightly and heat it up at a medium high. Then you're gonna add your lean ground chicken or lean turkey, add it to the pan, mix in some taco seasoning, or you could make a Mexican seasoning blend. And then you're gonna wanna brown your ground chicken or turkey. Meanwhile, you can make some tasty guacamole. Empty three Haas avocados into a bowl, add a quarter of a diced red onion, add the juice of half of a lime, add about a quarter teaspoon spoon of garlic, salt and pepper to taste, and then mash it up and mix it. Voila. All right, and for your pinto beans, I just went ahead and made a Mexican seasoning blend here. It is on the recipe card, or you can just go ahead and use some more taco seasoning. Pop that in the microwave and heat it up. All right, and for your salad, I encourage you to use as much greens as you'd like. Add your, your ground turkey or chicken, add your pinto beans, and top with guacamole and salsa. For the Greek salad, you'll want to go ahead and prepare your quinoa according to package directions. And then you're going to want to quarter and dice up cucumber and have your one to two cups of cherry tomatoes. Add these to a bowl. Then you're going to want to dice up bell peppers. Make sure you remove the seeds and the stem. Go ahead and dice that up and throw it into the bowl. All right, then we're going to dice up a quarter of a red onion and also add that to the bowl. And add greens to the bowl as well. Mix to combine. 
half your chicken, place it in a shallow pan, add half a teaspoon of olive oil to each half of chicken and brush to coat, sprinkle the juice of half of a lemon onto the chicken breasts, and then add the Greek seasoning to both sides. Put it in the oven at 375 degrees until cooked throughout. For a Greek salad, you want to add three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, half of a, the remaining lemon, and Greek seasoning to taste. To serve, add your desired amount of quinoa, add your veggies, add your chicken, drizzle with some olive oil, optionally add a little bit of feta. For our Asian stir fry, drain your block of extra firm tofu, soak up as much of the liquid as you can with napkins or towels, half the tofu and dice it into squares, add three Three teaspoons of sesame oil to the pan. Once it is hot, add your tofu and you're going to want to just fry it a little bit on each side. Then you're going to want to remove the tofu from the pan, add in your frozen Asian vegetable blend, and then you'll want to add in soy sauce, rice vinegar, garlic, ginger, crushed red pepper, Mix that to blend, bring it to a simmer, and once the vegetables are cooked, reintroduce the tofu so that it can soak up some of those juices. And to ensemble, add your brown rice, top it with vegetables, and make sure you got a good amount of tofu in there as well. Then add your desired amount of sesame seeds and optionally drizzle with sriracha. To recap, bottom line, weight loss is about consuming less than you were burning. You should cook meals that are filling but help create that calorie deficit. We do this by emphasizing lean proteins and including an abundance of vegetables while still getting a small amount of carbohydrates and fat. You want to always aim to be a little better than you were yesterday, but don't ever expect that you're going to be able to overhaul your whole life quickly. Trying to be perfect is a recipe for disaster. Small actions on a daily basis lead up to massive results. Also, no food is completely bad. Practice viewing foods on a spectrum of eat more to eat less. Don't aim to be perfect. Aim to be better than you were yesterday. Thanks everyone. See you soon.